die in here is because I was trying to try dim sum. Virginia, Virginia Chan with Humid with a Chance of Fishbowl Tours. We specialize in food and cultural tours. Today, we're exploring traditional dim sum. Dim sum trolleys, old school decor, and that traditional dim sum experience. Is it Lin Hung Tea House, Lin Hung Koi, or Lok On Go? If you had to choose one, which one should you go to? What's the difference? All these questions and more answered in this video. Keep on watching. It's history time. If you're not interested, go directly to. Let's go way back. Pre-COVID, when Lin Hung Group had three Lin Hung restaurants. Lin Hung Tea House in Central, Lin Hung Koi in Shangwan, and Lin Hung Zan in Chunwan. Lin Hung Tea House is very historical because it started in 1889 in Guangzhou and opened in Hong Kong in 1918. It was managed by the Nai family. In February 2019, the restaurant was rumored to close because the lease potentially couldn't be renewed. The lease was renewed, but Lin Hung Tea House was sold to one of its longtime staff members. About a year later, in March 2020, the restaurant was then sold and returned back to the Nye family. In April of 2022, the Lin Hung Group then announced the closure of both Lin Hung Tea House and Lin Hung Zan, oh no. whilst Lin Hung Goi would still remain opened. So when and why did Lin Hung Goi close? Because they changed their name to Look On Goi in March of 2024, with everything remaining the same. I'm going to guess that they weren't allowed to use the Lin Hung brand anymore or the name licensing got too expensive. Comment below if you know. So Lin Hung Goi is Lok Hong Goi, basically. And as for Lin Hung Tea House, well, they officially opened on April 1st, 2024. It is now run by the new Golden Group and it is not run by the same people as Lok Hong Goi. This history was Frankenstein together from info found on the internet and some regular dum sum goer hearsay. So if there are any inaccuracies, please nicely let me know. To conclude, there are really only two of these dim sum tea houses that still stand. Lin Hun Tea House in Central operated by New Golden Group and Look On Go who used to operate the three Lin Hun restaurants in Hong Kong. April 9th, it's a Tuesday at 1.29 p.m. right in the middle of lunch hour. I guess we look for our own seat, let's go. Loki felt like I was Mulan going into battle. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm like, what tea do you have? And she's like, oh, whatever tea you want, we have. I went for my grandma's, like, super specific, a chrysanthemum and poor, and they're like, okay. I'm like, you have it? She's like, yeah. Got the washing basin. You wash your dishes. this one before but at the same time I also got some old favorites. I got Malai Go because we eat it here all the time and I also got the Siu Mai. Let's try the new stuff first. They said it was shrimp and Chinese celery. The shrimp and all the ingredients are quite fresh. Skin is a little bit thicker than I thought it'd be but it's still very very tasty. They look very fat and plump. Uh, I'm gonna do a cross section. Mm. Really fresh and like very meaty. I'm not sure why, but the chefs always say that the bean, the edges taste the best. The food lives up to the old Lin Han Tea House. It, everything's pretty good. Mm. New is that they have drinks on the bottom floor. It used to be like traditional tea, so let's go get a drink. Mm. Refreshing. Yeah. We're going to level two because that's the one where everybody is. Level three uh, has a higher tea charge and then they do a 10% service charge. So we don't want to be there. We want to be at level two. Three now, I think they stopped dim sum at 3.30. So slim pickings, but let's go. 
哇，怎么回事 ？OK。We got the siu mai here, so there can be a comparison. Some of the barbecue pork bun. Pa gao, my favorite. Duck feet. I like the webbing. The webbing tastes the best. What's this again? Washing basin. Let's go. No, no. As you can see, they put a lot more tea leaves here than the other place. So the siu mai here, as you can see, is smaller. It's more bite sized. So I think that you can taste more fat in this one, and there's more mushroom. The things here are quite bite-sized. I need to eat another one without chili oil. Same plump shrimp, and then the skin is like more delicate. I would say a little bouncier. Now let's pass you back. Barbecue pork bun. There's a piece of paper on the bottom. Please don't eat that. Ooh, demon. Mmm. The bread is really light and fluffy, and then the tasu has like a sweet but savory taste to it. It pairs really nicely. It's quite nice. Let's try the duck feet. Should we do the ankles or should we do the the fingers? Let's do the fingers because I keep talking about the web. Basically, what you're eating is like the skin. So you just scrape off the skin off of the bone. I like it. It's like a accordion. You gotta spit out the bone. So which one should you choose, Lin Hun Tea House or Look On Good? Let's compare the food, decor, service. And of course, price. Food-wise, both were good. I think Lokongoi has stuck to the most traditional style, with the siu mai being minced pork and shrimp with bits of pork fat and mushroom, whilst Lin Hung uses a thicker cut of pork and is closer in style to the other restaurants in Hong Kong. Lin Hung also has a modern tea shop on the ground floor. Lokongoi had more dim sum trolleys and ladies with a greater variety of dim sum offered, whilst Lin Hung looked like a battlefield. I think this will get better as they sort out the best supply to demand ratio. They've only been opened for nine. Decor-wise, Lin Hung is brand spanking new, so it's brighter and more modern. They still have the bird cages and paintings, but generally more modernized. Look on Goi, on the other hand, literally looks like it's been time frozen in the 50s. The staff and patrons alike. Service-wise, there's no service at either. Just being honest, there are more tourists at Lin Hung, so look for this guy. He helps people find a seat. They're new, so they do seem to be kinder and more patient. The most helpful people at Look On Goi, on the other hand, are actually the regulars. They're usually kind enough to help you out if you look totally lost. Price-wise, and we're just comparing dim sum prices, Lin Hung is more expensive on all fronts. Both restaurants have a per head tea charge, 16 at Look On Goi and 18 at Lin Hung. Small dim sum is 23 versus 25 dollars. Medium is 28. Eight versus thirty dollars. Large is thirty-two versus thirty-five dollars. Special is thirty-five versus thirty-eight dollars, and extra large is thirty-seven versus forty-two dollars. Location-wise, they're both convenient, but Lin Hung is right in the heart of Central, and Lokongo is two MTR stops over in Saying Pun. In conclusion, it's really personal preference, but I will say this. If I were to bring my tour clients to Dum Sum, I would bring them to Look On Goi because I can explain all the etiquette and culture to them. But if my clients were going themselves, I would recommend Lin Hung because it seems more tourist friendly and it looks brighter and more modern. Both will be a bit overwhelming, but it's part of the fun. If you want the experience to be more manageable, go in the morning around 9 to 11 a.m. because lunch hour is sometime between 12 to 2 p.m. and Dim Sum closes around 3 to 4 p.m. so it's slim pickings the later you go. 